Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. I'm Wilkie, and I'm here with Zenrod. Uh, oh, you're back. You and your di- <laughs> you and your kind of d- dilated voice is back because of our la- internet lag. Nice. I know it's <laughs> been so long that uh, people started to think that this was just a show with me, <laughs> and that's it. That was it. No more. Are you released? No, I'm I'm here to talk about this Dragon Ball game I don't play. Yes, perfect. Now let's get into it right away because we got the most important character finally added to Dokkan after four years of long waiting. Long waiting, they have finally added a SSR version of Launch, the blonde-haired girl from Dragon Ball with the gun. Yeah, it's. I just have to ask this: Did she get a Gacha SSR before Krillin did? Yes, <laughs> she did. <laughs> Uh, she 100% did. I just realized that now that you mention it, there's no actual gotcha SSR Krillin. It's all free to play. Uh, it's the Baba one. And then, like, the LRs, right? Like, the ones with LR, Kid, Goku, and Krillin? I mean, that's really more of a cameo for him and his TUR. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Krillin <laughs> cameo. Uh, but yeah, there, I want to say there's an STR SSR Krillin, but I want to say he's also- No, that's the Baba one. Okay, no, there's two separate... So the Baba one is Tech, right? No, there's two Baba Krillins. I just remembered. Remember the one you can buy with um, the green item, the green gems? It's not the Tech one? No, the Tech oh, one is... Oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. The Tech one is with Baba points. You're yeah. right. There's two... Man, that's crazy. So, yes, Launch finally got one four years in, and she also was not put on the World Tourney banner. This is basically, like the greatest thing to ever happen to me <laughs> because uh, <laughs> so let's get into what she does and i'll tell you why it's hilarious so she's the leader for peppy gals at 100 percent. at this by the way she has no tur she's also the second best leader for peppy gals at 100 percent at base form um nice. her, her super attack is just the machine gun she shoots at them and it lowers their attack and defense her passive skill is called one-sided demand. Her attack and defense go up 100%. She gets three key, and then she gets an additional... Uh, she has a high chance of getting additional 50% chance. No. Okay, so she has a high chance of getting a 50% attack up and to perform a critical hit and to launch an additional attack. And both of those are at a high chance. Um, and also, she can see all super attacks for five turns. You can tell you. Is that what that means? Sorry, say it again. So you mean that she can tell when you're the enemy? Yes. So the scouter item, she just has that ability for five turns. It's something that Piccolo can do and Jace can do as well. Uh, but hers is at a limit of just five turns. And then her only two categories are Peppy Gales and the Dragon Ball uh, Saga. Those are her only two uh, categories. So I, as I just read that passive skill, she is the most bu- one of the most busted units for no reason. <laughs> She's pretty awesome, <laughs> and it's launch, which is also awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, Dragon Ball game is when it's just characters that have no business. Yeah, it just has no business as being as strong as she is. Also, her super attack is literally just shooting people, and so you even hear a bra, 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 like a bra, 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 when you use a super attack. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Everything I love about this. It took four years to get one launch SSR, and again, the fact that she avoided the world tourney world, world tourney ghetto is maybe the most uh, best thing. Yeah, about how her. the hell did she do that? And I think That's it's like the the death kiss. I can ball units. Yeah, I think Just, the the only reason she the avoided it. Banner. Yeah, the only reason she avoided it is because she's in Peppy Gales, and that's the same reason. Um, one of the uh, Chi-Chi's was able to escape the World Tourney banner. Another one is stuck in there somewhere, but this one is at least able to get out. And it's only because of the waifuness that she was able to escape. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's uh, the great thing is, is that eventually they're going to have to T-U-R her. That means that she's just going to get better. <laughs> so unless, uh, unless she gets like the full power freezer treatment where they're like yeah throw 10 percent on her passive so she just does attack and defense 10 percent, and then gets four key huh. and then a chance of 60 uh, percent attack even at that point it's still pretty good um for again yeah it's hard to make her bad after all that yeah for the amount of things she just does it's pretty great uh so that's launch her two categories are again peppy gals and dragon uh dragon ball saga but those are she has the dragon ball links so those are 
two categories that she basically fits perfectly on, especially since Peppy Gals also has the Chi Chi, who gives 120% to all females on the team. <laughs> so that means. I like how for the longest time. Mm hmm. Okan was like, fuck girl units. No one wants those. And now they're like, all right. <laughs> for the ones who want. something it. with my and Chi Chi ear. Yeah. To be fair, they have been the only problem now is that the part of the, which is something I tried to do. So I tried to do a Ribrian uh, showcase using all three Ribrian units because for some reason Ribrian is the only unit in the entire game whose in all her units can be used on one team. She's the only person who can. Oh, is it because she's a bunch of different ones? Yeah, because it's uh, Brienne de Chateau, it's Ribrian, and then it's Giant Ribrian. So all three of them have three different names, and then Brienne de Chateau uh, changes into Ribrian the second it starts. So you basically only have three Ribrians on the team, but all of them link to each other. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's really funny that she's the only unit that has that ability built into her, but... Um... The problem is, is that actually trying to find a leader for Peppy Gals is impossible because the only female unit people use is either Khalifla or LR, Kale, and Khalifla. <laughs> Those are the only two Peppy Gals units in the entire game people put on their friend list. No one actually oh, puts... Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's the... it's the So the best chance you have of actually using launch is with Kid Goku. And even with Kid Goku, it's pretty hard to actually find a category for her. That's like her one... Her one flaw is Dokkan. Is that Dokkan is what Dokkan is. The way is. that Dokkan is. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But, you know. What can you do? Now let's get to the important part where we put her on the big boy scale. What are you feeling for this, uh, for this extremely shooty gal here? Five out of five. Easy. Big time. I'm also going to go 5 out of 5 for me. I'm sorry, just to be sure, because I know um, Keeper of the List wants to keep it as clear as possible. Can you say yours once again? 5 out of 5. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? Mm -hmm. The Keeper of the List, not confusing at all. Uh, 12 out of 5. All right, perfect. 12 out of 5, and then I'll go uh, I'll go 10 out of 5 now, because you're now we're just trying to confuse him. So 22 out of 5. <laughs> <laughs> 22 out of 5. There, I think for a good keeper, Raiders fan was like um, sending us questions being like, hey, what the hell is the LR Broly again? Because I feel like you guys mentioned multiple times we're changing something, but you never said what. <laughs> <laughs> the man's dedicated. He is extremely dedicated, and he does an extremely important job for sure. Uh, and with that, now we'll go into some questions. Let me find the one YouTube question. All right, we got some questions, so hopefully we'll be able to get this nice and done, nice and quick. All right, let's see. Uh, first question comes from YouTube. It comes from Appa, who says, Question for to be released with the fourth anniversary ending soon in, uh, in Global and Duel Links recently passing 100 days. What's the best dub anime opening? There's this question. What's the best dub anime opening? Uh, get Your Game On from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Oh, that's really good. I'm still very partial for Hyperdrive because it is the most bombastic opening for <laughs> a card game thing ever made. Of uh, the 5Ds opening? Yeah, because there's a part where the songs start going like, fire in the sky. It's like, wait, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Go back. Suddenly your, your song was about driving and then all of a sudden the world's on fire. Can you explain why? I, I gotta go with Get Your Game On. And then, um, Honorable, what, what is it called? Gotta Find Them Dragon Balls. Yeah, Honorable Mention to Gotta Find Those Dragon Balls. Alright, let's just play it one more time right here. Yeah! Dragon, <laughs> Dragon Balls. Cut, cut, to you find them all the seven missed balls. That's such a good opening, too. And then a wish come true. Dragon Ball. See, this is why you have to come back here because I can't let loose when it's me by myself. <laughs> I have any too reserved. It's true, I'm too reserved. Um, you should listen to any video where it's you on it because I'm like this, and then when it's me by myself, I go. Oh, uh, let's look into this new game. Dragon Ball a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's play some Tekken. I really fucked up this kill deck, and I see I lost. Okay then. <laughs> Uh, I'm angry at myself, <laughs> and uh, that's not good. So that's all. Is my... that how you main now? Do you play Jill now? No, I have Wesker. I I, I ran into okay. a ja I ran into a Japanese player using a Jill zombie deck, meaning it was all black. And she used rocket launcher for so they just basically spammed the field with zombies, and then when they had rocket launcher, they got rocket launcher. So it became an extremely annoying deck to deal with. 
it's a lot of fun. It's very hard to actually win with, though. Oh, yeah. Rocket Launcher is overrated. I don't think it's that good. No, it's you can only if people figure out that you can use rocket launcher that you can't use rocket launcher, you have to wait for them to use their move first, then rocket launcher becomes a dead card in your hand. So you also have to... you can just use shield and then rocket launcher does nothing. Yeah, that's the big problem is that also rocket launcher completely gets everyone was talking about oh, it's going to replace Ryu. It's you know, it, it... no, it... OK, not it all not at all but against very specific matchups it can be extremely deadly if you don't have those specific cards in hand the only time i was able to win is because i had the destroy your own monster cards if wesker did not have those i would have lost <laughs> because you yeah. just take it it's very good against um uh what's his nuts um raffalos because raffalos has no defense against it so he just constantly takes 10 to the face but that's about ah. it because every other person can shield <laughs> Either shield it, or you can, uh... With green, you can bounce the target back to your... It's too easily to avoid. Everybody has a way around it, except for, like... Specifically, I think just... I think even red has one card that can actually stop it, to be fair. The... Uh, that purple has to get around it is a negation card, which would suck to waste that on that. But yes, it does. I also say I fucking hate fighting purple with all their negate. It reminds me why I don't like fighting blue uh, blue people in Magic is because all they do is negate your shit, and then I go fuck you. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> and with that small tap and thing aside, I finally found the questions thread for to be released. So let's get into it. I what? hope you enjoyed all that tap and talk. Expect more teppin from us soon. Uh, first question comes in. It's not even a question. It's a statement from my sister that who who says maths. Her name is maths. And she says that is all. And it's a picture of her new, uh, hair dye next to our bird Sonic. So it's really more like an abstract piece of art than a question. Color is her new hair dye. I believe it's purple, but she constantly fights me about what color is because I never, I can never guess the color right amount for her. So I just say, I think it's this color that she goes, no, it's yellow green. And I'm like, but it's still yellow. No, it's yellow Yellow green. green Like a yellow green to appease little kids. That's true. Uh, Thank you for the question, sister. I like that Sonic has really grown into her own. We also recently found out that Sonic is actually a girl or the, uh, the Guinea fowl that we've been raising uh in our house are you gonna change its name to amy or are you staying with sonic no we're gonna keep sonic sonic is gender fluid in my fan fiction that you can read <laughs> sonic drinks pear and then he can turn into a female <laughs> all right next question comes That's in right the, the balls are a soup i forgot that yeah i had to explain to uh my uh to someone someone uh that i was re- first i was reading toriko and then as i tried to tell her what the hell pear did she kind of was like what <laughs> and i had to go like all right so they had to get the the balls from the monkey king and then when you combine the balls together it makes a soup called pear and then <laughs> it spews, spews out uh this soup that can change your gender when you drink it and then it's but it's okay because you just drink it again and then you change it back so it's not that big a deal it's all good but you do grow, you do lose your penis, as a, uh, as a Sonny says when he checks his crotch and says, it's uh, gone. God, Torco's good. Torco's extremely good. You should read Torco. Uh, next question comes in from Baron of Soul Rock, and he says, I'll let Bachi ask for me. And it's a picture of uh, some anime girl. I assume her name is Bachi. And it says, aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just ever want to go ape shit?" And then my response is, aren't you tired of going ape shit? Don't you just want to be nice? Think about it. <laughs> uh, next question comes in from Nighthawk, who asks, finally, Night- Nighthawk has, by the way, has been trying to get onto your Discord for the past three weeks since you've been gone. Uh, because we had to... Oh, has somebody? Yeah, because for the... for the la- I forget, the last time you were on, you said, if you want to join my Discord, just uh, ask me. And every single time that uh, he's asked, can I please join your Discord, you've been gone, and he's been sending questions, and I had to eventually say, dude, I'm sorry, I don't know what Zed's back. Please just add him and tell him to add you to the <laughs> Discord. Added me about it, so I'll, I'll give you an invite link to my Discord. You can send that guy. Yeah, exactly. Just add Zen, uh, Zenrot Nighthawk. Uh, his questions are, what are your top three or five favorite waifus from any anime slash manga? 
a lot. Yeah, that's a lot to think about. I don't know if we have enough time to actually answer this question thoroughly. Let's just pick two. Can you pick two? I think I can. Um, does Quetzalcoatl from Fake Grand Order count? Because she is technically... Is oh, no, she's, she's a girl. She's getting an anime this... Okay, she's going to get an anime with uh, Fake Grand Order Babylon. So that's one of them. It's Quetzalcoatl. She's the Mexican uh, serp, serpent oh, girl. I remember that person. Yeah, she does like sick lucha moves. And then recently she like fucking airdropped a giant bull. <laughs> she did a backbreaker on a giant bull. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> so she's one of them for sure. And then the other one, um, I think I'll go, I'll pay homage to Dragon Ball and I'll say launch. I really liked la- launch. For the longest time I want to say on the subreddit, I was, uh, I used the launch for avatar. For a while, yeah. Yeah, so. I'll go, you know, I'll say launch. Those are my two. All right, all right. I respect that. Uh, I'll do, I'll say Botan, and I guess Bulma. So we're paying homage to Dragon Ball, Bulma. Yeah, yeah. Bulma, and also Botan was another one I was thinking of. I just knew that you were going to say it, so I left it. (laughs) I left it to you. I respect that. Thank you. No problem. Uh, Thank you for the question, Nighthawk. Next question comes in from Jonathan Joestar. He says... This is really funny. I love your question, by the way. Hey, Wokey, love the content. And my question is, are you planning on doing any collabs anytime soon with any other YouTubers? <laughs> <laughs> um, does Zedrod count? Because I'm doing one right now. This is a sick collab. I don't uh, even think I count at this point. Does D Free count at this point? Because I, I more than me. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I don't know if he counts, but he definitely counts more than I do. Yeah, I do have some ideas. I wanted to, I think at some point I said that uh, we've actually said a bunch, at least on actual to be released, that we should get Rhyme Style on. And I feel at this point that we said it so much that I think we should wait till I actually get a thousand subscribers. So if we ever get a thousand subscribers, then um, I'll ask Rhyme Style to be on. I'm pretty sure he'll say yes. I don't think I've ever, ever asked him directly for anything. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> Uh, the funny thing is, is that back when we did... hasn't been on one episode before. No, that was back in Modcast days. Well, yeah, it was the Modcast back yeah. then, but yeah. he was still on it. The, see, the difference is is between me and you is that you were always able to get like guests on, and you were always able to be like, hey, can you, um, can you do this for us? And, you know, those dudes are usually pretty cool, and they would say, yeah, sure, let's go on it. Uh, my problem is, is that I have anxiety to, of asking people for anything. So I would rather just like, you know, there have been times where I basically have tried to, uh, I was at the DM screen for Rhyme and I was basically going, hey, Rhyme, if you're not too busy, would you mind going on to be released? The thing I do with Zenrot. And I've hovered over the send and then I delete it and then I move on. That's sad. <laughs> that is sad, but that's something I have to get over. So if we ever make it to 1000, if I make it to 1000, I will ask Rhyme. And he will probably say yes, because he's a nice guy. And he helps out uh, Tiny Channels uh, a whole bunch. Definitely say yes. Yeah, I, I won't say definitely, because I'm not going to make promise. No, because again, there is... I do not know him to be someone that would say no to a yeah. request like that. Yeah, we'll make time for it, too. And like I'll be like, whenever you can, we'll figure out a time and we'll you know we'll get it done. Uh, it's not like Deefy where I say, hey, you busy Friday? <laughs> and then he goes, let me check. And then he goes, uh, yes. And I go, all right, man, next week then. <laughs> and then... <laughs> uh we'll see and in terms of other people i don't know if there's any other people that you can think of i don't i don't know we'll figure i'll figure it out no i'm still a tiny guy usually i wait for people to ask me to do collabs and then i'll go join them that's the way i always see it uh thank you for the question though uh next question comes in from what about you uh zen do you have any plans to do some hot collabs (laughs) with other youtubers uh, well, I was gonna with a JoJo guy, but then I was like, God almighty, I'm dealing with a bunch of bullshit from post-vacation, and so I was like, I, I don't know, I can't. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait a bit <laughs> before you're ready to go back on that bullshit. On. Yeah. Alright, all right, fair enough. Look forward to that eventually, someday. And then you also do, um, I don't know if it counts as a collab, but I consider it a collab, the full course manga thing. Where, oh, yeah. The yeah. full course manga with, uh... Rick and Neo. If that counts. Yeah, Rick from Opinionated, uh, uh, that's the name of his, right? Opinionated Podcast or his Opinionated Cast? Yeah, yeah, the Opinionated Podcast. There you go. Check it out. If you haven't seen the Opinionated Podcast, check that out and then go check out your full course manga thing. I don't know if Neo does anything. He did that one Attack on Titan video. So he, has, he has one YouTube video. 
but it's a good one. So it's you a- should go watch that one video that he does. Yeah, and then one time we did a stream of Jump Force with uh, uh, with us in it. So that also find that stream somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next question comes in from Zorak Master Twenty Six. He says, "What is your favorite Dragon Ball Heroes concept in terms of story or what if forms?" Um, I'm really into the idea of Nappa's uh, Super Saiyan thing being his beard. I think that's really funny. Oh, the go- uh, yeah, the goatee going Super Saiyan. Yeah, that's uh, that's I'll say mine. <laughs> it's the it's the, it's something so silly and dumb, but it's something that people literally talked about. Like, how would Nappa go Super Saiyan? That they actually like went like obviously it's his beard because he's bald. I think that's very funny, and uh, it's a good job from them. So and the say. Raditz hair, the, the Super Saiyan three Raditz hair that's like all the way like drags on the floor behind him. <laughs> yeah, basically stuff like that where they like uh, they think about like how would that work out, and then the answer is is like it'd be very silly <laughs> if you actually saw it. But it's uh it's the silly that makes it so um good in my opinion. What about you, Zen? Uh, I like the the whole concept of like the Zeno characters. Mm. They're at the point now where they're just like, yeah, <clears throat> the next journey is just correcting problems in time and history and stuff. That's cool to me because it's instead of being like, worry, it's like yeah, they're fucking time cops, <laughs> and they go around fighting shit. Yeah. That's pretty good. And there's a lot of good things to like about heroes, for sure. I, I am pro-heroes. A lot of people don't like heroes. I, I am I am pro-heroes. Yeah, so am I. It's just, it's just good fun. I don't see the... I don't see the harm of yeah, it. Nobody's saying it's fine art. It's just fun. Exactly. Like, this is why we can't have nice things and why everyone complains about Super. It's because sometimes <laughs> you just... just have fun. Exactly. <clears throat> Uh, next question comes in from Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan, who says, do you think that they will make a Heroes merge Sumasu into Dokkan? I think I fucked up every single word of that sentence, but it's because it's been a while since I've done it. And then he showed, I guess, Heroes version of Zamasu. That's, that's the merge Zamasu from Heroes, yeah, with the eye patch. Okay. I mean, I mean, eventually, right? They're going to have to get to... The one to... who gets fucking clapped by Jiren. <laughs> so, so the answer is maybe... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I could see it. I mean, they put that weird fucking amalgamation of all the different DB villains into a card. Why not Zamasu? Yeah, right? Why not? Yeah, why not? Find the the gifts I could show it to you if you haven't seen it. I have never seen it. It's yet. really good. I have never seen Find those gifts and I'll load up the next question. Uh, I'm going oh, f- to look while you do that because this is quality. And then, funny enough, a next question is from Airfighter, who says, "Can you rate this GIF?" And it's just, I think it's Dio crying. So, how much would you rate Dio crying on the big boy scale? Uh, is it him crying after he gets found out by Jonathan before he becomes before he rejects his humanity? Yes. Uh, that's a five out of ten for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you mean ten. Score. I think you mean ten out of five. <laughs> Very good. It's, it's big positive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like uh, I like the the tears, the the crocodile tears from Dio for sure. I don't know why this is small, but it's really funny anyway. So here you go. Wow, he literally just gets like fucking one shot punch in the <laughs> fucking exactly face. It. He goes to punch a Jiren, just catches that shit, punches him in the face. He's knocked him out like fucking JFK, back into the left, <laughs> back into the left. That's in- That's intense. All right. See, this is why DB Heroes is good. Uh, next question comes from 98Luck. Uh, hashtag play Peter Patter Pop. He says, what's your favorite LR? Mine's Goku and Aureli. Um, I have to look at the list. Hang on. I haven't had to pick a favorite LR in a long time. All right. I still say good, good kid Goku and Aureli. They're That's definitely one um man i'm i'm kind of like imperfect cell it's not my favorite one but i just like the concept perfect cell oh yeah yeah is that the the one with um is that the not the new one right one that just came out with the piccolo oh okay yeah the new one yeah yeah it's crazy um think. i think it's probably gonna go with goku frieza hmm. but i also really like kale and Khalifa and um 
GT one, not because I like GT, but just because it's cool that it's just the opening of GT. It's the is Dan, all their moves. The Dan Dan trio. And I mean, yeah, there, there's a, there's good LRs specifically because of their animation, and the, they're that's one of them for sure. It's such a good concept. It doesn't matter how much you ca- like. I also don't like GT, and I love that unit. It's so good. I think at the time when we rated it, we said it's <laughs> it's something GT does not deserve. It's an LR with this oh, much absolutely. love. Absolutely. And I stand by that. Uh, but for those who love GT, be thankful you have them, for sure. Okay. Uh, next question comes in from I'll say the I already answered this question I'll just repeat the answer it's from positive who is uh, says hashtag watch Bakuman he says when are we rating delight works we didn't get summer is so weebs must unite for the waifus they want and I'll say um, you should get angry at that guy who like gave you false hope just like when Zahal said that um, there was going to be a summer Quetzalcoatl coming to fate and he was wrong and I've always held resentment towards him for it <laughs> and <laughs> And I continue Your mistake to was listening to Zahal. I know. I chose to believe it because my love was as strong and it did not happen. And then lucky for him, she ended up getting a Christmas unit, so I ended up not being angry at him, but I still hold the highest of resentment towards him, towards his one act of saying, I think I have the leaks right here, and he was fucking wrong. <laughs> and he was horribly wrong. Uh, so there you go. And the final question comes in from Goku Mania, who says, "What's your speculation about the 300 million download banner? And what what waifu should become an LR besides Aureli? Oh my God, she's a robot, not a waifu. That's correct. Aureli is not a waifu. She's a robot. <laughs> she gets married at the end of Doctor Slump, but um, she is not a um, she's not actually a waifu. She's just a robot. Not like Android 18. That's different. Uh, anyway, what is what do you think about 300 million download banner? Uh, Zen. Uh, Chi Chi. Let's make it Chi Chi. <laughs> Don't confess, Chi Chi. Huh? Yeah, let's do it. Let it rock. All right. And then her her active skill is her getting married to Goku. Then just she becomes Goku, and Goku is just the unit for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, that'd actually be really funny. I would actually like that. Get a whole married, bunch. and then Goku steps in to protect her for the rest of the the rest of the fight. That's what it is. All right, then. Then I would guess that the the other counterpart would be Bulma, where it's the exact same thing, but it's actually she no, she has two different. You know how um su- uh Super Boo can depending on your HP, he turns into uh Boo Han, Boo Tanks, or um Bukalo. Huh? If you're above fifty percent HP, you get Vegeta, but if you're below, you get Yamcha. <laughs> Oh, I think it should be a Dragon Ball Bulma, so it's always Yamcha, but then Yamcha just loses and you just stay Bulma with a lot of buffs. <laughs> okay, that actually is way better. So let's go with that. <laughs> uh, that'd be perfect. And then her active skill is her... Actually, this would be impossible because, again, uh, there's ratings for gacha games, but it should be when she shows her vagina to Master Roshi. The Dragon Ball? Yeah, the Dragon Ball. Her interaction is that, so she just like lifts it up. But then you can't actually do it justice in Dokkan because you can't show her bare ass that shows that she's uh, showing it all. So it's not actually possible. But you could still do something. I'm just saying. You could. And that also answers for LR besides Aureli for waifus. It's Chi-Chi and Bulma. There you go. 300 million downloads. And with that, we are 100% done with To Be Released. Funny enough, this one is the exact same length as the previous one when it was just me by myself. It just really goes to show, time flies when you're having fun. You gonna say something, Sen? Or are you, <laughs> or are you just gonna leave me hanging there? What? I'll just leave it. Oh, okay, you're just gonna leave it? Alright, let's end the show then. Yeah. Uh, do you remember how to end the show? No idea. Okay, you have to say that's no good when I'm done. Oh, right, like the like the really shithead Sonic, right. Yes. All right, everyone, remember, uh, don't play Dokkan because you go to hell before you die. That's no good. Perfect. We hit it basically with perfection.